Fred and Sheila McCoy, Hatfield McCoy Museum. Sheila's behind the camera. Hi guys, hope we you have a great morning. We are on an adventure today. We're back in Pike County. I come to pick Sheila up. She's been up staying with her dad yeah. for a while. He's been ill and yeah. she's been visiting him. And I couldn't take it no more. I had to come and get her. <laughs> Got lonely. Well, I missed you too, baby. Guys, we are at the Old Pond Primitive Baptist Church. Go ahead, Sheila. Mm -hmm. Walk around there. And uh, this here, of course, it's been remodeled yeah. through the years. But supposedly, this is one of the churches that Preacher Ants Hatfield That's cool. preached at. Oh. When he was a minister... Established in May of 1843. Is that what it said? Mm-hmm. 1843. See, I didn't see it. Yeah, but look right here. Look on the front. Wow. Yeah, see that? Is that not something? Yeah, 1843. So this would have been one of the churches, if not the church. It mm -hmm. may have been the only one. That preacher ants preached that. That's cool. And That's of cool. course, you can imagine it's been bricked. Yeah. And uh, go ahead and show it on that. Yeah. Show the church and the little hill. Wow. There and this is um. This is amazing. This is called Church House Hollow, and of course, you've got your hollow here. There's your hill over there, hill there, with a little road and a creek. Stern, yeah. Equals a holler. Mm -hmm. This is just going to be a short video. Sheila and I wanted to, uh, on our way back, wanted to show. Well, now I didn't church. know this we was here. Think, so. Well, That's we cool. can thank Neil Warren. There you He's go. He's the one that told us where it was at and all about it. And uh, Neil yep. Warren, guys, if you're ever in this area, I know I'm related to both Hatfields and McCoys. Mm -hmm. Neil Warren is related to neither. And uh, he is just a historian. He loves Hatfield McCoy history. And he's as knowledgeable as, <laughs> yep. he's as knowledgeable as most of the Hatfields and McCoys that claim to, but. Yep, uh, thank you, Mr. Warren. Yeah, if any of you are ever in this area and you need a tour guide, or I don't know if he even does it, but I'll tell you where he lives. When you go across the bridge, to the Randall McCoy property. When mm -hmm. you go across that bridge, the wells to the right, the first house on the left, the only house on the left when you go across the bridge. Right. Big A-frame. It's a beautiful and, house. And uh, his garage faces the well. He's usually got his garage door open. He's got a little um, a little museum in there of different little things that he's collected over the years and people's mm -hmm. gave them. It's nice. And he is one extra nice fella. Yep. And, uh, well, it turned into a plug for Neil, didn't it? But he deserves <laughs> That's it. That's okay. Neil, he, yeah. Sometimes um, a lot of people give Sheila and I um, information. And sometimes sure people do. where I'm so controversial, I guess, some, most people don't want to be connected to it. Uh, because if it's special, if it's something bad. But Neil is uh, Neil's the one yep. that told us about Preacher Ansys Church, which we, we knew it's on concrete or over this way. Mm -hmm. and uh, But I'd never never been to it never researched it and been up this holler before yeah. well, I used to be on the fire department here but um, it looks like a nice little place doesn't years it years ago yeah we're just right down below mm. Belfry mm -hmm. Belfry's to the left when you go out the holler that's 119 Belfry's to the left and Wimpson is to the right right and uh, guys it's a uh, that's pretty cool it's a cool morning yeah 1843 yeah that's that has got Huh? What do you do to green? That has got some history to it, ain't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. You can uh, close that one out. All right. Thanks, guys.
you're having a great day. Please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.